we had an outside consultant, a man named Carl Shaver from New York. And Carl Shaver took me aside and said, if you come back with less than 500,000 from Sohio, this project is dead. And the man running Sohio was Al Whitehouse. And I, I can remember saying to Al Whitehouse, we got to have $500,000. Well, I thought he was going to fall out of his chair. The, the Sohio gift of 500,000 led the way. And all the other corporations sat up and took notice. It happened at this time that another organization was forming in Cleveland called Cleveland Tomorrow. And it was made up of the CEOs of the 30 largest corporations in Greater Cleveland. We went to Cleveland Tomorrow. The next thing we knew our goal was 28 million bucks. When Cleveland Tomorrow said they were interested, I knew we'd cross the goal line. I said to my group, the theater we need to do first is the Ohio Theater. If we can get the Ohio Theater done first, the business community will support us getting the State Theater. And the community will then demand that we do the Palace Theater. My phone rang in my office one day and it was the mayor. He said, I want you down in my office at two o'clock this afternoon. I bring in Vincent Dowling from Great Lakes Theater Festival. I turned to Vincent and he said, Vincent, I'm gonna tell you something. Great Lakes Theater Festival is not gonna have a theater out on Great Lakes. Then he turned to me and he said, I'm gonna tell you something, John. They have to have a theater to move into and you're gonna get it done. Vincent, when do you need the theater done? Vincent said, knowing it couldn't be done, by July 1 of 1982. The mayor turned to me and he said, John, you got your marching orders. You're to have that theater ready, the Ohio Theater ready by July 1, 1982. Boom, that was it.